Do you have a junk drawer? I'm sure most people do of some form. Um, I did actually have to ask Cubby about a few bits and pieces because the, our junk drawer got um, really bad. I put my hands up and I've said this a number of times and you'll hear it over and over again. I'd like to think that I'm a fairly decent organiser. The problem is having too much stuff. So places, although originally are gone through, sorted through, reviewed, decluttered and organised for the last five or six years, it's a matter of actually reducing the contents of our home quite a high proportion, if that makes sense. Because although pieces have been organised, spaces, drawers, cupboards, wardrobes, boxes, whatever you're sorting out, if you've got too much stuff and it gets messy pretty quickly or over time when you've done a space, then you know that it's not working and possibly the reason is you have too much stuff in that particular space. And let's face it, what if, what if, what if is one of my favourite um sayings due to the fact what if I need it but it's coming to the stage now a lot of things are quite easily replaced I know it's money but there's been lots of pieces that I keep holding on to I keep sorting through and keep organizing and we don't use them so I'm trying to be really strict this year the drunk drawer is just one example of what ifs if you know what I mean and things that I found on the floor and as I go through um, my final junk drawer this will come um, as no surprise and explain everything I've been doing. This pile here is everything I'm getting rid of. Um, I put music to the first part because um, the guys were here, they are actually gone out to Halfords um, both need um, a few pieces from there. So that's a guy thing. So I thought I'd stay home um, because I've finished this little um, portion, although it's taken me a little while. Um, I did have a cup of coffee, which hubby kindly made. Um, our son, until we're waiting for Halfords to open up, um, was playing on his game. So, yeah, it, it's been, um, dare I say probably on this a couple of hours <laughs> um maybe not so split decisions but i was trying not to pester the guys too much sort of giving them pieces or asking what they are and things like that so like the drawing pins i've had these years but i've got some in my cubby so that's why they are going i've got lots of hooks although i was saying to hubby um just check to see if these are the whole ones but i've put them there he says just get rid of them but there you go we've had these a number of years um i believe we bought a spare set for our son's curtain pole five years old possibly and i keep storing them yes i probably could have um done something with them but I know our son eventually wants a new curtain pole. We've got glues that have been open so long. And even a couple of little tools there that I was surprised that I've been managed to get rid of. And also um, light bulbs for Christmas lights and everything. And um, these are all lights that have left our house anyway. And I did have this. This is not a new item. I can't remember how long ago whether this was last year or the year before this come from b and m yeah it was 3.99 i was thinking about um getting rid of it but i decided to swap it out um because it's been so many years and i've had the same setup bought this i would say this is about 25 years old i have this is two of these i've got as you know we had all red um, accessories and I've explained this around our home especially in the kitchen I did actually get hobby years ago to cut it down that's why that looks a little bit funny um, so it would actually fit in my drawer but I'm getting rid of it because I'm using those white ones because I feel as though I've got rid of 
quite a portion of um stuff here like i said it's asking that looks like it must have been off of um the the back of something you know and we've not found um places or they haven't gone where they should have gone and things like that and this is the final example of what i've done i'm really pleased how can someone i know that's sad be pleased about sorting a junk drawer out <laughs> but the difference from previous where i showed you i've changed things around funny enough these things look they fit perfectly and the difference on this do excuse the state the drawer this is the original um drawers and the carcasses of our cupboard from when the house was built we still haven't replaced our kitchen but you may do don't you with what you've got so i've used it was a set of three it's worked out really well i know there's quite a few bits and pieces here i do have my pink um toolbox um that's in my cubby but these are things that you know if you're doing a simple job um tires and things you know, scraper different um screwdrivers and things this is so hubby doesn't have to go out in the shed you know these are like gifts we've got he's bought he's used this one a lot i can tell that that one's still got the tag on might be passing that one on but i've left it he did remove a couple of items so i was i was really proud of him it, you know tools is a hard thing i think for guys yeah especially in our home tools bits of wire cable things like that can be difficult um i've left these in the packaging because these are new ones i've got command and i've also got the wilco brand um just to try them we're not sure if that's any good and these are like obviously for scratches on wood and that came from clean easy that's where say like on your fridge or the oven you know oven top where it's rusted you can apply that um i think it can be done for radiators and that not sure if that's going to be any good because i must have had that about three or four years but i've left it in there so it's like little mini jobs there and then i've tried to keep it as as um, simple as i can we've always kept um hooks in here and i purchased this from Asta a while back and put a few extra bits in matches don't tend to use them now but you never know so i've left them there and one lighter that does work tape measures i found them when i was sorting out i put light for light like i would have one in my handbag there was sort of one in another drawer but normally they stay in here and it got to the stage that we didn't have any here and now i've got three I've always kept, um, you know, a measuring tape because I always used to measure my body when I was doing my weight thing to find out where I was losing weight, where I was putting on. So that's something I'm going to do again. So that's why that is there. And then I changed the boxes round. I can do this one handed. If I'm going to clip it. This had all stuff i'm not going to say anything else stuff in it um and all these sort of things were in a box over there which is now empty yeah do excuse all the bits on the carpet again this shoe shows every little bit i'm going to hoover up afterwards so they had all the um sort of command strips so i have put them in there keeping the new ones in there because also has the weight on them this has been i nearly dumped these but i thought well we're a couple of months off of easter um if i don't use them i should get rid of them that i know came off two three years ago off of my um gingerbread pink house um that goes in my um cubby and then these are the things especially when our granddaughter's been um bits that you find on carpet or whatever so we've got a couple of um counters like from tickly winks or something i think i know where that one's from that 
is actually from a um, bingo game but I don't know if it's the one that we've got now or an old one so what I would do is when I've got a moment or we bring anything that's like tickly winks or I think that is missing out something if we still got it it will go in the box but I put it there at the moment and then we've got a pack of fuses that it's one of those things that uh, you don't use very often now but we bought those recently I've got a few of these which realistically I could do with replacing but I've kept them at the moment and these are like caps that um, cover over screws I think they might be from our bedroom but again that's something that I will have to do and obviously um, these are the clips from the vacuum packs I have got a few more upstairs so I need to transfer them like for like and put them all in here these were all originally in the smaller one so basically out of the three boxes I've put them everything that I need to keep in one and obviously may get rid of the two or might hold on to them briefly because a lot of the stuff stuff has gone out so that's just been laid on top and i've tried it and it does fit still in the carcass of the cupboard so i am really really pleased with what i've got done i did show you um a little few bits of putting things away i was adamant that not everything was going to stay in here because I thought, oh, I'll go and put them away later or I'll do it another day. No, I was going to do it today. The only things I've got left is decorations and a couple of gaming things. And obviously to check those two screw covers. Um, but as far as I know, everything else has been sorted. And you can see everybody's junk drawer is going to be different. I'm sure everybody must have at least one and this has been the same drawer for 30 plus years um so i don't like to actually swap the drawers round um because it's always been known as the drunk junk drawer but a good result because i'm getting rid of all those not the trays i had two trays because originally i have these for one for get rid of straight away and one for keep and then as I put things back, I want a portion gone and I'm definitely getting rid of that. So that is another result that I'm really pleased with. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and maybe it's give you um, some motivation or inspiration to go through your junk drawer. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.